<laughs> I want to beat him and look good doing it. Yeah. So he's always fun to watch as is, uh, you know, polar opposite. Neil's fine, a real uh, uh, hardcore, hard worker, and grinder. And look at this. Look at their leg. This is how much slower this table plays than what they're used to on a TV table. Also, Skowerski and Rolf Suke, their leg came more than a diamond short, which is rare with Niels and Rolf Suke. First arc, new fire to break. So Niels, very happy to be back in the arena, to be back in it. Has been out months, I think six, seven months total. Yeah, tennis elbow. Terrible. In the right arm. Uh, and uh, couldn't get it properly diagnosed for some time and then uh, finally had it figured out. He went to another several physios and uh, he's been doing rehab uh, two hours a day and then yeah. uh, slowly but surely getting back into it with practice. He's not 100% pain free, but uh, he said he's getting stronger by the day. Yeah, with you know, long-term injuries, there's always this fear, this, this worry of Push. getting it back. So you're always scanning your body to feel if it's getting worse or better or the same. A dry break we saw from Niels, but luckily he didn't leave an open shot for Raj, who opted to play a push-out. So Niels at the table can choose to play or give back. Half ball hit, playing a containing safety. Well, Niels is a full-time pool player. Lives in Denmark, but still a member of the Dutch national team. And uh, that's pretty good uh, by anybody's standards in this sport, being a member of the Dutch national team. You actually get paid to play. That was nicely done there. From Raj Handal. Very nice shot. He stated in his interview that he has uh, an advantage over Niels in their uh, yeah, I, in their meetings. You know, I I'm surprised to hear that, but uh, could, could have been a little bit of uh, gamesmanship there from uh, from Raj trying to get in the Niels's head. Nice hit. All that Niels, Niels could do there was play with speed and hope to separate the balls. Raj Handal won the 2005 World Pool Masters, beat American Rodney Morris 8 to 7. Had a big comeback in that match. And yeah, he was down 7 1. This was in Doncaster. I was there. He played great. And then he had that match against Roman Hubler in the same tournament where Hubler had a ball, I believe it was the seven or eight ball, to go up 7-6. He dropped the ball, it went in the pocket, and then two seconds later popped out. After two seconds? One and a half. <laughs> That's a miracle. That a yeah, miracle. I mean, you can watch it on, on YouTube. So I've he, seen that shot. So he went on to win the tournament from there. take that. Raj can have a look at this one ball, but a lot of distance. I was saying that Niels is a full-time player. Raj is not a full-time player these days. But again, Raj, who uh, lives in London, He's the kind of player that likes to uh, come out of uh, his sort of uh, self-imposed retirement and just steal matches from players like Niels Fine. He, there's nothing he likes more. <laughs> well, add my name to that list. He did it to you. No, no, I want to do it to others. No, but, but oh yeah, but, well yeah. Because <laughs> you're out coming out of retirement. Yeah, I'm in the mix in this tournament. That's right. 
So let's talk about this layout here because he's <laughs> he's making good shots. And he tried to force the cue ball to get on the right side of the four. But when you're jacking up, hitting downward on that cue ball with speed, it's impossible to not making the cue ball jump. And when it jumps, it, it loses action. You don't get the grip on the ball. Oh, a zing shot. Look at that. Look look where the cue ball is. Beautiful attempt by Rajondal. Well, Niels can have a look at this. A lot of distance. We'll still have to uh, get position. Back down table for the orange five. Still credit to Rajendal for taking the shot on. There's no hiding in this man. And he chooses to go safe. And that didn't work out. He needs to go into the five and six. Preferably a full hit on the five. He's playing top spin. Didn't understand that shot. He didn't even get close. No, I didn't understand the top spin. It looked like being an easier shot to pocket with, with the center ball punching it in. Oh, and he got away with that, and the nine ball <laughs> goes down, and that is a win of the rack for Niels Fine. Absolute luck, that's part of nine ball. Let's watch it again. Hit the object ball first. Anything after that is fair game. The object ball actually goes in, and so does the nine ball. Interesting opening rack. Many misses back and forth. So Niels Fine, after uh, several months away from the game because of injury, comes back and uh, gets a, a, a lot of lucky in that first rack to get the point. Here it is again. Second rack, Niels Fine break. Yeah, Ready jackpot. Rack, rack to nil. Boom. And the referee now, the snooker fans will maybe recognize Desislava Bozislova from Bulgaria, famous snooker referee. Asked by Metro to uh, give her pool career a go. So the one ball went down. Yeah, beautiful break. And look at how the balls are sitting. And the Sitting. nine ball got kicked as well. A lot of action, yeah, on the nine. Now, if it, if this weren't the World Pool Masters Arena, I'd call those balls sitting ducks. All ready to get shot. Yeah, this, you hear all the players talk about it. Ralph talked about it after his last match and how difficult it is to come out and in a setting like this, any tournament, the first match is always tough, but in a setting like this, when you know you've got millions of people watching all over the world and and uh, such an important event, the World Pool Masters TV table, talk about how you, tr you get comfortable or try to get comfortable in a setting like this. Tomorrow, <laughs> when I play Peg yeah, Live. Or in general, you know, in well, the past. Well, if you have some suggestion, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Getting a little nervous, are you, Alex? Anxious, anxious. You love it. Now, what kind of routine did you, did you just have a routine that you try to stick to just to... Preparing? Yeah, and, and well, to get know, used to this environment. Well, what I did, I've played a lot. Uh, I've practiced uh, on Facebook Live, so that heightens a bit of the pressure. Oh, yo, yo, he came across the ball there. He needed, needed nothing on the cue ball. Just draw it back, one diamond. Yeah, see it right there. And 
And a miss like that doesn't help to build confidence. And that is the kind of a miss that can help the confidence of a player like Raj Hundal because he likes to... Uh, he likes to bring the game to his yeah, opponent. That's he has, right. He has an in-your-face mentality. That's and, right. And, you know, Niels, Niels, in the past, you know, some players have done it to him. I've seen Sander Tolt do it to him a couple of times. But he's not out of the woods yet. Well, this is no gimme right here. can smooth stroke it in, draw the cue ball to the long rail. Nicely done. So Raj Hundal quickly up out of his seat with the miss by Niels Fine and clears the balls. And gets his first rack of the match, one to one. So it's a winner breaks format, race to eight. Hundal will be at the table, rack number three. And let's have a look now at the draw. The defending champion, David Alcady, taking on Carl Boys, will play Ralph Suke. The winner of that match playing Suke in the quarterfinal. The winner of this match will play the winner of Chris Melling and Dennis Orculio. Chris Melling, a last minute fill in. There you see. Second, the rest Second of the break. bottom half of the draw, Van Milwaukee. Boning and Peach, Appleton and Strickland. Wow, what a match. Pagulain and Alex Laley. <laughs> so Raj Hundal breaking off and nothing down. So a miss hit on the break by Raj Hundal. Did it hit the one ball on the nose? Well, he missed that by quite a margin. Uh, looks uh, a little uncomfortable out there, Niels. Yeah, I'm afraid I have to admit that I'm seeing the same thing. Yes. It's not got not going to be easy coming back from a uh, an injury. I mean, he was very excited to be here. He got the clearance only a few weeks ago to play. Two weeks. Raj and Dahl undoubtedly very excited to see that two ball, but he didn't see enough. He had to go around the seven. And that was a subpar positional shot from the one to the two. Can happen if your opponent, well-respected elite player, misses a shot by a diamond or by a foot. A player can get over enthusiastic. Shot. Very nice shot. Super difficult to judge the reaction of the cue ball coming out of the short rail. That's the most difficult on this uh, TV table. Would it stay alive? Will it die? Just make the ball and then go three rails coming in towards the five. It's come a little wide. Too wide for his liking. And yeah, this is a big shot here for him. Needs to go twice across. Missed the seven on the way back.
nicely done. I was just worried if he missed it that he would he might start getting down on himself because he's had a few misses already. Neil's just got to grind it out and hang in there. It's not going to be easy after a long layoff. Good shot. Good shot. Now I'm interested to see how he plays this. Because three rails around the eight ball, a shot that many players would play on a club table, doesn't react that nicely on this table. So he looked at two rails, playing the eight ball toward the side pocket. More conservative route. Good wreck if he gets those last two balls. Right, good recovery. So Nails fine, sticks with it. Makes a nice comeback in rack number three. Leads two to one over Raj Hundal in this race to eight here at the Whirlpool Masters. Uh. We're in Gibraltar, Victoria Stadium for the 25th version of the World Pool Masters. Thank you, rack four. News fan to break, leading by two rocks to one. So Niels Fyan now, good rack in rack number three. Had a few struggles. First two racks. Oh. And now he's going to really like this result here off the break shot. Lovely. Two balls down, the five and the eight. Clear shot on the one and the two. This I like about a hand wrecked, nine ball wreck. You have to pound the break. I mean, you cannot expect to smooth the corner ball in. Gave it everything there, and he got well paid. I mean, that was absolutely ideal. You want one of those wing balls to go in the corner. You want the one ball, which is always at the top of the diamond, to come back down table to where you break from, along with the cue ball. I and mean, that was just textbook. Well, the two ball now wasn't so textbook because it didn't go in clean. As a result, the cue ball has cl stayed close to the long rail. So either he has to jack up. He's trying to float it in. Oh, he did well there. He did well there. Only on the new cloth, the super slick cloth, can the cue ball stay so close to the long rail. In between the nine and seven. smart but it was too cute for him to go in between the nine and seven playing it in this way he felt more comfortable of controlling the cue ball well enough Well done from beginning to end here in this rack for Niels Fyen. Good job. Three to one now. In favor of the Dutchman over Raj Hundal. And he will be breaking. It is a race to eight. Winner breaks 
very short race. Things can get out of control quickly. I got to figure that, yeah, although he showed a little bit of frustration, Niels, early there in the first two racks, after what he just did in rack number three and in rack number four, and here's the break shot here, absolutely ideal. I think overall, having taken a long break from the game, had to be very frustrating, that break. You know, this is his career. This is his mm -hmm. whole life. Yeah. He must be feeling really good to be at the table here in the Whirlpool Masters, pain-free. Pain-free. Well, we don't know if it's pain-free, but I'm sure he's enjoying himself, especially since he's up 3-1. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we know Neil, <laughs> so apart from all the work yes, he'll have done by three racks on the one. table, he, he'll also have done a lot of mental work, and, and he'll have prepared himself for possible frustrations to, during play, like and expectancy levels to manage that. He is one of the hardest workers in the sport. He wants days to feel like a working day. That didn't work out well. There was kind of a dead rack there. And One hand. Scratch. Yeah, but the scratch didn't come because of his the, the, the tightness of the rack. He hit the one on the wrong side. Well, that was his fault. It did not get kicked in. So ball in hand now for Raj Hundal. He's got to make something happen here. Floated in towards where he was standing now, to the right side of the seven. Leave himself a tiny angle on the three. He's good enough. Enough angle to work with to come around the four ball off of the lower short rail. Looks like he's playing draw. Does take a lot of time. But he needs to figure this out well. The collision with the eight ball. Yeah, it's Got to get position on that six. Nicely done. Oh, that worked out well. It's nice to watch a, a rhythm player cruise through a wreck like this. Exactly what he didn't want. Blocked by the black gate. So he pulls out the jump cue. But still, anything can happen from here. Keep your guard up when you're sitting in the chair. Don't get uh, too happy too soon. It's going to be safe. Very close to making that. And he got away with it. Just control the seven. That's most important. Patient. Has to be patient. Uh, Raj Hundal played this as a two-way shot. He attempted the straight back to the left-hand corner pocket with the speed for that seven ball to come up towards the third diamond. But he was slow there. The tester for Niels.
Good shot. Nils now needs this nine ball to move up to a commanding four to one lead. It's been a long road back for Nils Fyan. And he's in a good place. Right now, the arm is loose. He's up four to one. Race to eight, winner breaks. Yeah, he has played good shots. His only errors were in the beginning of the match. After that, he's in control. There you see the miss, and uh, Niels took advantage of that. They had a little safety battle. Thank you, Rack 6. Niels Feyen to break, leading by four Rucks to one. I think the layoff from the sport, as much as Niels hated to be away from the table for weeks on end, I think it's actually helped him, as it often does to players in many sports. They, whether by choice or just by maybe an injury, they have to get away from the game or the yeah. sport, and they get to clear their head and do something else with their life. And, Come back fresh. An imposed interval that an elite athlete normally wouldn't be able to take. That's right. A sabbatical. So he's got the six ball down on the break. And he can only see a portion of that yellow one. Now, I think he can hit the one thick enough to roll the cue ball and leave it there on the left side of the four and seven without scratching. He's addressing the cue ball low. So that tells us differently. And did he get cover there? And Raj is down on it like he can see it. Oh. That was really nice. As good as he hit that ball, he still has a lot of angle on the two. He good a, shots. He doesn't mess around, does he? No. He gets right up there, and it, this is his rhythm. This is where he likes to be. And I've seen Raj over the years. Actually, it was in 2005, the year that he won the Whirlpool Masters. He was in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, and playing the great Yang Ching Shun at the time. And <laughs> I, I think, remember that I, match. I was, it was all Taiwanese there. I was one of the only foreigners watching that match. It was late at night, and Yang yeah. was like a heavy favorite. And talk about streak player. Raj came in and just ran Yang out of the building. <laughs> yeah. Eight to one or something. We nine were to in one. the hotel room, like uh, Johan, Rico, Niels, me, Nick. And we were watching that match and we were laughing so hard because he looked like Earl Strickland in his best days. Every shot where he could get that extra rail with the cue ball, he did. A little angle here on the nine. And he gets it. So there's the old Raj Hundal right there. Nicely done. So the score now, four to two in favor of Niels Fian here at the World Pool Masters. to break trailing by two rocks to four so Raj Hundal was down four to one and it was looking bleak but uh, he made a nice run in that rack right there 
After a scratch on the break by Niels Fyen and uh, some crafty shot making from the hitman. He's got two balls down here, but uh, let's take a look at that one ball. Don't think he can pocket it. No, there's no cut on. And he needs to watch out for double kiss if he tries to hold the cue ball there and send the one ball away. Oh. Very nice. Wow, that was great safety from Raj. Niels is going to pull out the jump cue. Magic wand. Not much room there. It's no, there's not a lot of two ball blocking his path to the one. Not a lot, but he's really close to it. Extension code. So what do you do when he's that close to the two ball? He has, I mean, he has to... He can take it over the right side of the two rep, but there's not a lot of room there. No, he'll, he'll play to hit the ball. Maybe run into the nine with the cue ball. Hit the ball, hope for luck. And luck he got. That's exactly what happened. You know, if you hit the ball, good things can happen. Look at that. He double kissed the one and it ran into the nine. He, he, he could have very nearly pocketed that. Oh no, that that went oh, shot. Oh, and all hand. wrong. A straight. Well, it looked like he was always going to run into that eight ball. Perhaps he didn't see the possibility of that happening. Oh, so, that's huge. Yeah, with ball in hand. And a 4-2 lead. This looks like a roadmap for Feyen to go to a 5-2 lead. Just roll the two ball in. Leave an angle on the three. There's almost nothing that could go wrong from here. Other than tripping and missing the shot. Played it with authority instead of floating one rail to this position. He loaded the cue ball up with spin, getting that extra rail. Big difference with uh, Skowerski and Suke, who we saw play in the previous match. He hits the ball firmer. both sides of the coin. On the one hand, you should not lose finesse under pressure. On the other hand, you know, it feels it's good for your arm to knock the balls in with, with more speed now yeah. and again. Keep your arm alive. So in the last rack, it was Hundal who took advantage of a scratch and won the rack, and uh, Niels Fine returns the favor. Here in rack number seven, a scratch by Raj early on. Niels with ball in hand easily clears the colors. There you see it. Tries to play safe on the one and didn't really account for that eight ball. And the cue ball went right in off that eight. Unfortunately for Raj, there was a uh, Connect the dots roadmap. I think uh, even Siri would have uh, been able to tell you how to do that one. <laughs> rock eight, Niels Feyant break, leading by five rocks to two. Three more for a spot in the quarterfinals for Niels Feyant. Far from over though, race to eight winner breaks. But Niels looking good up to this point. 
Ooh. That's exactly how he scratched two nothing, breaks ago. Nothing down. And here you go. A shot on the one for Raj. But a difficult wreck. We have numerous problems. The three ball near the side pocket is in a difficult position and the six and the seven are tied up. And all that aside, he has already lost position on the two. Well, he killed two birds with one stone. Yes hidden behind the eight ball and opened up the six ball. Extension code. One extension per rack, an additional 30 seconds. Niels is favorite to hit this ball using the rails, but it's all about control and resaving the position. And that's why you play a safety, hopefully to force a foul. So ball in hand now, Rosh will get another chance. It was a dry break from Niels. Raj lost position. You don't often get a second chance in a rack and nine ball. But uh, let's see if he can uh, pull it off and uh, mount a comeback here. This is the time to do it. It's the beauty for me in nine ball to make big comebacks. Only possible when you're playing a winner break format. No. Well, he, he cannot continue to make these kind of errors. Oh, very nice. And when Raj. Like like we were talking two racks ago when he's when he's looks good, he looks fantastic, but too many errors against a player like of the caliber of Niels Fine. 2014 World Nine Ball Champion, 2008 World Straight Bull Champion. One of the world's top players over the last two decades. You just cannot continually make mistakes. Oh, offense here for Niels. shots but not happy with that result now if the six were frozen to the rail you could play rail first makes it just that bit easier to cut the ball in because then you can use the rail you could still opt to cut it in since the safety is so difficult Very nice. Very nice. Object ball. Object ball was his first intention to protect that six ball, to not leave an open shot. There's a lesson for you. There's nowhere to hide it. Just leave the distance. Now, will he get away with that? Yes. The eight is covering the six. Yeah, Rochendal is being chased down by Niels. Niels walking around the table very fast. Wants it to stop, but it pops out now. Does it pass the six ball? Does it pass the nine? 
Should. It's very tight, Ted. I don't think it goes. If it does, it sometimes it's hard to tell from the angles hmm? of the camera. No, it's just. Oh, very nice shot. Even if he's not fully snookered behind the nine. Nice solution found there by Roger Dahl. Oh, oh, oh. Great shot. that's a beauty of a shot there by Niels. Wow, that's the true artistry of pool at this level. He had nothing to hit at it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you do. That is very creative. Still. Uses the seven as a blocker. His main focus was on the hit on the six to control that six. And the bonus is that full snooker behind the seven. Extension code. Two rails. It's all about judging the aggressiveness of the side spin. How much will it open? Raj makes his decision so quickly. You get the feeling that he doesn't. Oh, I mean, he that he's not really seeing the safety so much. He's down so quickly. Maybe perhaps he's just trying to hit the ball. Yeah, I mean, the, the strength of rhythm players who are very oriented on making the balls is that they have a high gear and the weakness is that their low gear is on is lower compared to the you know the the more methodical players like Niels or Rolf Suke. When Niels won the World Pool Masters in 2013, they went out to win the World Pool Championship, World Nine Ball Championship in 2014. That was about the point of his career that he had really added that safety game to his overall game. He had been practicing, and you were the one, Alex, who coached him to that, correct? Uh, yeah, correct. We worked hard on that. He has worked hard on that with uh, input from my side. Yes, you know, he's become a very complete player. But uh, you know, Niels has worked with many trainers, coaches. He has looked for help always. So that's that's the first characteristic I think of a top athlete to look for improvement always. Yeah, he had a beautiful kick shot on the four. After that, he banked that five ball in. He's playing aggressive. Well, a combination of aggressive and uh, excellent safeties. And this is the part, that's Nine. the game that Raj doesn't Player have. Great. He doesn't Leading really, he can't two. really compete on a, with the safeties on the same level as uh, Niels does. So, distinct advantage. You're seeing it right here for Niels Fein. And for the, yeah, a lucky roll there on the five. Keeping Raj in the chair. And for the first time in this match, he's deflecting the cue ball on the break too much to the left. Flirting again with that side pocket. It's not easy making those wing balls in the bottom corners. Well, especially not if you don't get a square hit on the one. I mean, if you don't hit the one where you want to, then you cannot complain. <laughs> Who's that little boy in the back? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I brought my lucky charm. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying himself here. Difficult shot. Difficult to get to the two ball. <laughs> well. Wow. Beautiful shot. He's had a, a 
lot of very attractive shots here in this match. Yeah, this was a beauty. A beauty. Oh, he's going to be so happy. I mean, I've played rugby for 50 years, you know, in, in rugby, contact sport, injuries are part of the game, but an injury, a chronic injury for a pool player. Well, like you said, Niels, he works so hard. He treats pool like a nine to five job. So I guess it was only a matter of time before he got something like tennis elbow. And yeah. again, I, I really believe, and I was talking to him earlier, you know, he sounds like he's fresh and he's, he's very excited to be here. It's just probably, it could be uh, something that renews his career. It could be a, actually turn out to be a really good thing. Well, if, if it makes a player lose his fear of losing or failure and just play more aggressive and more positive, that would definitely be a good thing. And he has taken this match by the horns. You've worked directly coaching Niels for many years. I guess sometimes you have to, did you ever try to tell him to dial it down a bit? Hey, Niels, take a break. You're working too hard. Did you ever have to do that? Uh, or you just, that's his style and you just can't stop him from working hard. Well, it's an, you know, it's an approach. It's an approach. It's, maybe we'll get into that later, but it's, you know. I know you Dutch have the process. You know, everybody's got the process, you know, and, and, and his process is to be a workhorse. Yeah, so sometimes make him more uh, play, play, make him play a little more than to exercise. Yeah. It's okay for this game to feel like a game. Yeah. A game that is played with marbles. <laughs> and if you control your rock, the rock will be good to you. Well, he is controlling the rocks right now, and they are being good to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just walk in. Seven rocks to two. So Neil's fine now, seven two up. One away from a spot in the quarterfinals. An event he won in 2013. One ball down. Will he have a shot on the blue two? Doesn't appear that he will. Oh, he's lucky to not scratch there. But he is uh, playing a really good nine ball pool. Six months away from the game due to a uh, severe tennis elbow injury. And uh, he had been posting on social media over the months and uh, his frustration with not being able to play. But um, he has uh, finally figured out through the help of a physio. Push out. Uh, what the issue was and how to uh, cure it. He's been... Uh, was cleared two weeks ago to play, and here he is. So a push out now. Yeah, and Raj could have chosen to give it back, give the position back to Niels, but Niels is very good. One of the best with the jump cue. So that's a tactic often you, you see in a push out, pushing into a jump shot to tempt your opponent to take it on. Maybe he uh, thinks, well, Raj is an offensive player, has to make something happen. And he has, uh, Niels would have the advantage there because anything can happen now. Oh. Anything can happen there. There you go. As I said. A lot of elevation by Roger Null. The two ball went airborne as well. Nice 
the shot. He's got position on the four. Now, what are the odds that he's thinking back about his 7-1 comeback I against just, Rodney Morris? I, I was just thinking about that. He has that look in his eye that he can do it. This is that point in the match when you find yourself <laughs> down. Not my day. Well, he just found, after talk, saying that, he just got himself uh, snookered there. Orange five blocked by the brown seven. And you heard him say, not my day. Yeah, and the outcome of this kick shot underlines those words. Not his day in his day. It's looking to end in a couple shots from now. But you gotta love Raj. He, he, up until that point, you could tell that he actually believe that he could put a bunch of racks together and, and pull off an, a miracle win. Extension code. A lot of angle for Niels, so the most positive shot would be to load it up with right spin over the side pocket towards the long rail. I think that's what he's playing. Three rails. bit of elevation needed to hit that cue ball below center on the money straight in on the seven come back a couple of inches a shaky start for the Dutchman Niels Feyen but he has restored confidence the middle and the end of this match very good performance. Alex, I don't think you could ask for a better return from a six-month layoff due to injury. Niels Feyen taking the match. He doesn't even have to shoot. Raj concedes the final nine ball. Eight to two. Niels Feyen wins it. He moves into the quarterfinals here at the Whirlpool Masters. Champion, Spain's own David Alcady. He'll be taking on England's Carl Box Office Boys here at the Whirlpool Masters. Welcome back to the Whirlpool Masters. Neil Fyan there, the 2013 champion, kicking off his campaign in style with some really beautiful shots and an 8-2 win in the end over India's Raj Handal. And I'm happy to say he is joining me now. Congratulations on that win. I know that you've been injured recently, but how did it feel being back out there? Yeah, it felt really nice to be back. The first couple of games was pretty shaky, but then, uh, yeah, it kind of clicked in the, in the middle. We both made a bunch of mistakes, but uh, I was feeling the table pretty good after a couple of games, and I was enjoying it. It was nice. Did you expect a little bit more of a contest against Raj? We know he's a great player and a great character. He's playing part-time at the moment now, isn't he? Yeah, it's pretty normal. He hasn't played a lot of tournaments, so uh, and I've been out for like 10 weeks. This was the first match I had since uh, mid-December, so for both of us, it was uh, he's, he called it ring dust. Mm -hmm. So it was a good term, uh, a term to use. So it was, it was a little bit shaky for both of us, and, uh, but he's a, he's a monster player, and I've lost him many times in the past. Well, Nils, congratulations, because you booked your, your place in the quarterfinals. We will see you in the next round. Well done. Cool, thank you.